I want to go with the bracketology for Division One women's basketball. And as in like the first, like the top four seeds in each region and the bubble teams. So, honestly, if you're a five or a six seed, you still have time to get to a, th- a four seed if you can. As we all know, if you're a top four seed in the NCAA tournament, you get to host the first two rounds. So, who are the one seeds as of this moment? South Carolina, Stanford, Ohio State, and NC State. The two seeds. Iowa, UCLA, Texas, Colorado. The three seeds, Virginia Tech, USC, LSU, and UConn. The four seeds, Oregon State, Louisville, Indiana, and Kansas State. So, I will also go like like some quality games. For those teams, and obviously for those bubble teams, you got to avoid the bad losses. And obviously when you're a conference tournament, you're automatically in the NCAA tournament. So, and if you're trying to be a top four seed, you cannot have any more bad losses up for the rest of the year. And obviously when you're a conference tournament, would really propel your status of being a potential top four seed. If you're like a five or a six, currently right now. So... Last four buys. Washington State is the first one I'm going to mention. Quality games are Oregon State at Utah and at Cara. This is all besides the conference tournament, by the way, on these. And Green Bay is one of those last four buys. And the only thing they could do is just the conference tournament for your horizon. I mean, then there's Texas A&M, Vanderbilt, LSU, Arkansas at Auburn. At Tennessee and Alabama. Now Tennessee, South Carolina, at Vanderbilt, LSU, Texas A&M, and at South Carolina. Now the last four in, as of right now, Michigan. They have games against Iowa. I mean at Iowa at that. Michigan State and at Ohio State, which they already beat Ohio State once, but it would help. If they get it again, I don't know. We'll see what happens to all these bubble teams here. Now, Auburn is the last four in. At Alabama, at LSU, Texas a now and Mississippi State. They obviously beat LSU, as we all know. So, I'm just, just stating that out there. Now, Vanderbilt is one of those last four in. At Texas a now Tennessee. And at Arkansas. This is besides besides conference tournament in the SEC. Now, Maryland is in the last four in right now. Penn State, at Ohio State, at Indiana. Now, who is the first four at? The first one is Iowa State. They really are on a losing streak at the wrong time. Yes, they defeated Baylor. But they have lost to UCF and look at all the other games. And they even lost to Oklahoma. And they needed that Oklahoma win just to stay off, get off this first four out, be on the wrong side of the bubble. But quality games, Kansas State without a Yoka Lee potentially. So that's a potential win right there. At Texas, that's going to be tough. Even without Rory Horman. And at Kansas State, which... That by the time that Kansas State, you get to play them the second time, they might have Aoka lead back. And that's going to be make, make that more difficult. So, so now St. Joseph's on the list, and they, they have nothing they can do. Other than win every game possible. I mean, that's the truth in terms of quality games. And hope teams in front of them lose on, on the bubble. That, but you can't rely on them. Losing, you gotta win, and just then if it happens, that happens. Now, Villanova is on the first four out at Creighton and at UConn. That's it. Now, Kansas is on the first four out, they're playing themselves back up at Baylor, which they already defeated Baylor in wait uh, in, in Manhattan, by the way. So, pretty handily at that. That's the only reason why they're probably on the bubble, I would think. Then there's Kansas State, which they might have a Yoka lead back by then, but we'll have to wait and see. Then I end up Oklahoma. Now, the next four out, George Mason's one of them. 
It's just Richmond. Besides conference tournaments. Now Minnesota is on the next four out. At Nebraska. Iowa. And at Penn State. Now Arkansas is the next four out as well. At Texas a Vanderbilt. South Carolina. And at Ole Miss. Now. California is on the next four out. They play themselves up to that spot. Or somebody dropped to a point. But either way. They're in the next four out discussion now. At Stanford and at Oregon State. So, anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. See you guys later. On the road to 600 subscribers, of course, the ultimate goal is a thousand more. So, many money out there, of course, like in the video, comment video really helps to YouTube algorithm so more people can see it. Sharing the video does help as well so more people could watch. And if you're watching and not subscribed, hit subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. And I'll go over this again next week. And every other I mean every week until selection show and I'm only gonna do the week of selection show which I'm only gonna do it one time for the week of selection show because it doesn't make sense when it's gonna practically be the same every single day on selection show so I'm just telling you all the truth about that 